Alright, so this is a thoughts video on my favorites and least favorites of this series of minifigures I do not have. So, Cyborg and Superman and a few others. Uh, so, out of the eight, uh, three of them have changed. Uh, and there's a lot more minifigures. I actually appreciate them more. Um, but uh, we're just going to get into this. So, we're going to start with Mr. Miracle. Um, Mr. Miracle uh, is definitely my favorite of the series. Uh, one of my favorite DC characters, too. Um, I do like that we get a longer chain and handcuff cuffs uh, with two accessories, which is hard to find in a seri minifigure series. Um, very colorful. Um, one of the more colorful ones of the series. Uh, Simon Baugh's Green Lantern is next. Um... Uh, another one I really like. Uh, I do like the head, uh, printing that we get, like, a nice tan color. Um, like, usually when LIGO prints on black head, the colors are, like, ten times darker than they should be. But I think LIGO actually did a good, decent job. I really like the green mixing with the black. Um, and I really think that LIGO did a good job on creating a new, uh, Green Lantern minifigure. Instead of just taking the same torso and just, just having a different head. Um, uh, Metamorpho is still on this list as one of my favorites of the series. Um, the facial expression we do have in a yellow form. Um, so it is kind of nice to like, get a facial expression on a licensed character. Um, I do like the recolor of the purple fist. And um, it is printed on an orange body. Which I wish the body was doing molded purple and one side orange on the other. Um, the legs are clear with that uh, clay leg. Um, which are very interesting and still one of my favorites. My final favorite of the series is the Joker minifigure. Um, I might even buy a second one of him just because of his hair piece. We get the Mr. Incredible hair in green like that lime green color so people are making like custom mock jokers with uh that that hair um i really do like the torso too and i really do like the cotton candy piece as well so now we're getting into the minifigures i don't like star girl and huntress are still here um so star girl um is next is First minifigure I hate, um, has the, she actually has the least going for her, as the only thing going for her is a staff piece, is a new staff tip piece, uh, which I'm glad like I'm molding a new piece, but I wish that instead we got, um, other characters that, um, are more important to the DC universe, like a different Harvey Dent or something. In a, instead of her, I get Mr. Miracle. Um, really isn't as important as other characters, but there are characters that we don't really get in Lego form um, that I think are a bit more important um, or like variations of them, uh, such as. Uh, a different variation of Nightwing would have been interesting in this series. Or even a variation of Robin. Uh, next is Cheetah. You might be wondering, well, why don't you like Cheetah anymore? Now, she actually is, has the most going for it. She has a green sack with a money symbol and a new hat piece. However, Lego cheaped out big time. Um, the facial expression is... Uh, very similar to Wonder Woman facial expressions we've gotten in the past. Um, so instead of printing a new one, they just got similar Wonder Woman expressions. Um, also, the cheetah is a Wonder Woman villain, and we and we do get a villain for each hero in this series, except for Superman. We don't get a variant of Lex Luthor or General Zod in this series. Next is the Batman minifigure of this series. Um, which, it is weird. Like, I would think that this DC series, the Batman would be, like, the main focus. 
Um, but no, this Batman is my least favorite. Um, I do like the battering in blue and the new cowl piece. Um, I really do like the cape. Um, which is it? It's just like the satin cape I've heard. Um, but what I don't like about this minifigure is the lavender hands, which makes it my least favorite minifigure. One of my least favorite in this series. Batman doesn't have purple hands. He does his first appearance, but but I just think the purple hands are a bit too much overstep. We get so many unique figures that Lego goes off to make them look interesting. And I think that they could have included different hands. But, I mean, if you take the hands off, you can put a gray or black on. The next minifigure I hate is Huntress. Uh, Wonder Woman hair in black, uh, which is a recolor. Um, if you don't get the tiara colored in. Um, I do like the, the crossbow piece and the purple utility belt. Uh, she does have a lot going for it. I mainly don't like her over the fact that they chose her over other prominent DC characters, such as Robin and Nightwing, um, as well as variants of Green Arrow or variants of Reverse Flash, as almost every superhero in here has a villain. And uh, it's actually going to be my next video. Every superhero that has a villain in this series um, matchup, um, so, not every here, there are quite a few that don't, which I have found out, so that's gonna be it for this video, comment, uh, which one of these do you agree or disagree with, uh, down below.